hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look now this one is a really nice bronzy subtle makeup look so this kind of makeup look always has my heart and this is something which I absolutely love creating so if you want to know how I created this look then do continue watching this video and before getting into the video if you're not subscribed to my channel please take a minute to subscribe and also if you're not following me in my Instagram page then this is my insta handle to check out my Instagram page and follow me there as well so yes without further ranting let's quickly jump into the video I have already cleansed my face and it's all good now so I'm going to start off with a toner for which I'll be using this one thing toner now this one is the Centella Asiatica extract toner I'm going to take this toner in a cotton pad and I'm quickly going to apply it all throughout my face now recently this one is my absolute absolute favorite toner it has definitely helped in you know, clearing up my skin to very little extent Once the toner is done, I'm quickly going to moisturize my lips a bit because it's very dry lately. So for this, I'll be using the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. I find it very moisturizing and it has also got this slight plumping effect. So I'm quickly going to apply this on my lips. Following this, I'm quickly going to moisturize my face, so for which I'll be using this one. Now this one is the Comfort Ceramide Cream from Coserex. Now talking about this moisturizer, it is slightly on the luxurious side. I'm not talking about the price point, but I'm talking about the formula of the moisturizer. It's a little bit on the balmy side, little heavy on the skin, but if you have extremely dry skin, you can definitely, definitely try this one. Or if you have combination to oily skin, you can use this one during your night routine because it will definitely add a lot of hydration to your skin and it makes your skin very healthy and plumpy my skin is a little bit dry around the mouth area so I'm quickly going to use this one I'm taking very slight amount of this moisturizer and I'm going to apply it on my dry area So now we are done with the face moisturization the next step is going to be face priming but before that your moisturizer has to set on your skin really well or else your makeup might slip away you should give enough time for the moisturizer to soak into your skin and set really well now it's more than two minutes and the moisturizer has settled really well on my skin so i'm quickly going to do the next step for which i'm going to use a primer now for priming my skin i'm going to use this primer now this one is the flower beauty in your prime perfecting primer next i'm going to apply a foundation personally i use this kind of makeup on a daily basis so that is what i'm going to show you guys today i don't put a lot of concealer highlighting concealer this and that on a daily basis and most of us can't do that right so having said that i'm going to use a foundation which gives a really nice coverage but then it's going to be very very light on my skin if you're looking for such kind of foundation then i would highly recommend you to try this mac studio fix foundation now this one is my absolute favorite and I understand this is a little bit on the pricier side this is an expensive makeup product but then if you're looking for a really good foundation that doesn't affect your skin stays very lightweight and gives you a very flawless finish and to be very specific if you want to get a really good match for your skin tone then I would highly highly recommend you to try Matt's Studio Fix foundation it has got SPF 15 and for me personally being a very sensitive skin person this is something that worked really well for my skin type uh, it never break me out it gives this very nice flawless finish and in this foundation I fall under the shade number NW43 I have already done a separate detailed and very explanatory video about this foundation if you want to look that I'll put it in the cards or in the description you can definitely check that video I've taken very little quantity of this foundation and I'm going to use such kind of brush now this one is called a stippling brush it will look like this and this is from the brand pack and this is the variant 304 what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very little quantity of this foundation dot it all throughout my face and then I'm going to blend it
so yes that's it i'm done with the foundation hope you guys can see the difference this product is like an absolute magic for me i absolutely absolutely love matte foundation and i love using stippling brush to blend in the foundation especially the matte foundation because this stippling brush blends in the products really well and it gives this nice very skin like finish that is how this brush works for me i always always prefer using stippling brush to blend in my mac foundation not with the rest of the foundation but especially mac foundation if i want to wear it on a daily basis i love to apply it with this stippling brush from pack and the number of this brush is 304 next i'm going to use a very slight amount of concealer for which i'll be using this product now this one is the huda beauty fox filter concealer in shade crumble the shade number is 7.1 n so i'm quickly going to take a tad bit amount of this concealer and apply it underneath my eyes just to give a slight amount of highlighting effect it's not going to be too much it's going to be very very little a little bit on the outer corner and then I'm going to take this concealer blending brush. Now this one is the Cuffs and Lashes F019 concealer blending brush. Now this brush is my absolute favorite brush. More than the pack concealer blending brush, I really really like this one because it definitely helps in reaching the nook and corner and to blend your concealer really well. So now I'm done with my concealer blending. Next, I'm gonna set my face slightly using a compact powder, which I'll be using this one. Now this one is a MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, basically a compact powder in shade NC 44.5. I'm gonna take a powder brush and then I'm quickly going to take this powder and apply it on the area where I tend to oil up really quick So that's it we are done with setting my face using this compact powder from MAC. Next I'm going to slightly bronze my face to get the dimensions back for which I'll be using this Hoola toasted bronzer. Now I'm going to slightly take this bronzer in the brush which has been provided in this packaging and then I'm going to bronze my face. You have to be really really light handed when it comes to this shade now this one will give really nice definition but then you have to use very little quantity of this one if you're of my skin tone you have to be very light handed when it comes to this bronzer since this shade is really really dark you have to use very little quantity of this the sides of my nose i'm going to use an eyeshadow blending brush and then slightly on the crease area to get this very nice natural definition on your eyelids. So yes, hope you guys can see the change now. We have got all the definition back. Next, I'm going to slightly level up my eye makeup. For this, I'm going to use this Nykaa eyeshadow palette in shade Double Chocolate Chip. Now, this has got all these amazing browns and neutral shades for everyday wear. So in this palette, I'm going to take this shade and then I'm going to apply it from the inner corner till the middle of my eyelids. Now I'm going to keep this makeup really soft for which I'm going to take this black eyeshadow from this eyeshadow palette and apply it near my what lash line. Now this step is going to give you a really nice soft finish. Next I'm quickly going to use a kajal and then tight line my upper and lower waterline.
Next, I'm going to work on my eyebrows for which I'll be using this Huda Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. This is a micro precision eyebrow pencil. Now, this one is in the shades of black and the shade number is 8. I'm quickly going to define my eyebrows using this eyebrow plug. So that's it, I'm done with my eyebrows. Next, I'm gonna use a slight bit amount of mascara for which I'll be using this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. So next, I'm quickly going to use a blush for which I'll be using this one. Now this one is the Color Bar Cheek Illusion Blush in shade Sweet Scarlet. Now we're done with the blush. Next, I'm going to quickly use a highlighter for which I'll be using this one. Now, this one is the Balm Bonnie Lou Manizer. Now this is how the highlighter shade looks like. It's a really good highlighter for dusky to deeper complexion. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighting brush and then I'm going to slightly apply a tad bit more of highlighter on my high points. Now I'm going to keep it really subtle. And take a very little quantity of this highlighter on the, on the tip of your finger and you have to apply it slightly pat it slightly on the bridge of the nose so yes we are done with the highlighting part next I'm going to go in with my lips now I'm going to use a brown lipstick for this I'm going to use this faces Canada Ultra and pro intense matte lips plus primer lip Trion and shade expresso And then to get this light pouty effect, I'm going to use the K Beauty Lip Crayon and shade Pat on the middle of my lips. And now I'm going to top it up with slight amount of lip gloss. For this again, I'm going to use this Maybelline Lifter Lip Gloss and shade Topaz. So yes that's it we are done with the makeup look and this is how it finally turned out and I absolutely absolutely love this look it has got this really nice bronzy effect so basically for deeper complexion this bronzy kind of look with brown lipstick and lip gloss on top of it looks amazing hope you guys really love this makeup look if you really like it please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel take a moment to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so next time with another amazing content i'll meet you guys and goodbye from free bye bye